What is up guys? Welcome back to another video for <clears throat> One Piece Treasure Cruise. And today we are going to be taking on B number two in the Revolutionary Army Sabo 60 stamina. Now Sabo is a, a great boss that I have been trying to get done for so 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 long. And I finally got the right team to be able to put him away. And uh, I'm going to be very honest with you. I have no earthly idea what free-to-play team is capable of defeating Sabo. That's just entirely too much work. Because on stage one, there's so much fodder that's on a one-turn cooldown. And they hit like trucks. And then after that, uh, stage three, uh, you have... <clears throat> three units that can lock you and stage four your units get badly matching orbs and then they get locked and it's, it's just it's just too much but uh the team we're using is a double rob luchi my luchi isn't anywhere close to max as you can see it's 24 but you can actually stall out those 24 turns as long as you have the rocket ship we have double rob luchi have uh, kuma Pika, Fiji to Sanji, and Magellan. Magellan, Kuma, and Pika are the only free to play units on this team. And uh, everybody on this team is absolutely essential. Absolutely. Uh, you see these sagas here Rocketman, you heal up 900 per turn. So for a level 3 auto heal, that'll give you 1200 healing per turn. You need orb matching specifically to help you out uh after this i'm going to be doing uh wapuchi or kane team because uh <laughs> oh my god a kane is so broken it's not even funny <laughs> it's not even funny <laughs> but, uh, let's get this bad boy done i know this video sometimes lags a little bit a little bit i'm hoping it doesn't lag on me right now while doing this one and uh wow these are some amazing orbs. So, with this, just let random number generator do its thing. I promise you. Because if you try to click, you screw up, you're gonna die on stage one. Die on stage one is not to do. So, we just wanna attack this so Even if you hit a miss with all these brilliant orbs, it's really no big problem at all. You take one hit from the cannon guy, and then after that you stall out three more times. I mean, I don't have to stall because my friend Captain has a max Rob Luchi, unlike me. But this is just to prove to you that even if your Rob Luchi only has one skill up, you're still good to go. This next turn, you want to clear out everybody except the int guy at the top left corner of the screen because he's going to lock Pika for five turns. This this raid is just like extremely out of the ordinary. People do things that they don't normally do. It's extremely annoying. Now here you're going to let him lock and on top of that you're going to tank one hit and he hits like a fucking truck. He hits for 11k, so keep that in mind if you're going to be going up against him and you need to stall. If you don't have Rocket Man, you're going to need level 5 auto heal because this guy, you'll, you'll see, he hits hard as hell. 11,000. And thankfully we can stall that out. And heal back up for 3 more turns. And it was 3600 HP back. Yeah, this video is lagging tremendously, so uh, I <clears throat> really, really, really hope it doesn't lag like this when I get to the boss game. So it's hitting perfect, so uh, extremely essential here. Okay. 
And right here, you need to stall out a full amount of turns necessary to be able to have Wabuchi ready by the time you get to stage 4. Now, when you get to stage 4, the uh, Penguin will either have a 2 turn, a 3 turn, or a 4 turn cooldown. Depending on how your luck looks, you'll be getting a 3 turn cooldown more often than not. If you're lucky, you'll get the 4. And if you're extremely unlucky, you'll get the 2. But it's not the end of the world if you get a 2 turn cooldown. Let's see here with Rocket Man. It's so, so clutch. I can stall without worrying about tanking hits. It's the uh, lobster hits for 5,100 every single, every four turns. And uh, what you want to do is make sure that you don't go into the next stage with any food or tandem orbs. Because the uh, guy in the middle who gives you badly matching orbs. And then he's going to lock them for three turns. You know it says two, but you're really going to be having those orbs for three turns. And here we got lucky. We got a four turn cooldown on the penguin. And this is perfect for the video. So here, this is when you're going to want to use people special. And we've actually done an excellent job of starting here. So we're definitely going to be more than ready. By the time we get to the last stage. So, like you see here on stage 4. The uh, guy on the bottom right and the top left. The guy on the bottom right has a good barrier. And you have to hit 3 goods before you can deal any kind of damage to him. And the guy on the top has a 3 perfect barrier. You have to hit 3 perfects before you can do any damage to him. So here we're going to attack this stone. have to take care not to kill the penguin because you need to use Bob Lucy special on the penguin and then we're gonna go into the next stage. <coughs> Could actually do that now but I'm just being safe. Okay. Here, I'll uh, just take an extra turn to do that. You never know what can happen. Then we use Rob Lucy's special, then we use the last one. And here, this video is going extremely choppy, so I need to focus really hard and hit all of my perfects and make sure I take them out. And what Sabo does preemptively, he shuffles your orbs just like you want to use Bob Lucy special. And uh, look at that. He gives us matching orbs all across the board because of Lucy special. Then turn one, he hits for 7,300 or somewhere around that. And then turn two, he'll boost his attack and then he'll hit for 11,000. And afterwards, <coughs> If you still go on after that turn two, he will clear all debuffs on him and your buffs, and he'll keep hitting for 11,000. And then later on, he'll put up a two turn good barrier, so you'll have to hit two goods to do any damage to him. And if you get him under 30%, he will obliterate you. Frankly, that's what he's gonna do, he's going to obliterate you. So you do not want to get him below 30, not 20, 30. So here, we have everything we need ready to go. We use Magellan. Magellan is important because you need to poison him. Because uh, I forgot to mention that thing on the bottom left corner. That's a half chain multiplier. So your chain is cut in half. So you'll do half as much damage as you normally would. Well, not half, but less, much less. Then here we use King of Special to get that matching orb on Pika. And also 1.75 times blood boost. Speed to Rasanji. That's a good unit. Probably the best speed to run in 
two times powerhouse attack all across the board. No side effects. And after that, you want to use that weak special again for the extra damage. You're just unloading on top of now. Hit with rocket man, and he's gonna cause some damage, and we just burst him, and we're good to go. Look at that! 3.4 million damage. That is 60 stamina. Sabo. Beaten by Rob Lucci team. Three free to play units Magellan, Sanji, Pika. Uh, Ray Recruit 3 to why Sanji is uh, slightly elusive, but if you ever manage to get him, he's just wonderful for this raid. And for Boa Raid as well. Any powerhouse team, he's a must. And uh, Lucci, if you ever do pull him, he's a great unit. So, uh, as you can see, this is my first time. Taking down Sabo, I've taken him out quite a lot. That skill up needs to come up real quick. Now I'm, I'm very stingy and meticulous about box speed, so. Well, that's all for 60 stamina Sabo. I promise you guys, the raid, it isn't impossible. You just need to build up your box and make sure you have a strong enough team and then you'll be able to beat him one day. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's been a while, but thank you for watching, and uh, happy farming, guys.